everyone, Matt Haywood here from the Star Wars Time Show. Quick spoiler warning, because we're about to go through the Easter eggs, references, and a nod to Star Wars Rebels from Mando S3E1. Let's do it! Alright, up first we got the Armor's Mythosaur, which has now made it to three different locations. Then we see Wes Kimmel, nephew of Jimmy Kimmel, also played the little Tuscan in Book of Boba. Alright, hey, check this out. A literal piece of Mandalore all glassed out. This is probably the biggest reference egg of the episode. Pergils from Star Wars Rebels. Then we get a 99 type of droid as they're walking through Navarro. And the Kitchen Chef droid from Book of Boba Fett in Jabba's Palace. How about that? He's there too. How about a little Kowakian space monkeys in Navarro as well. And of course the IG-11 statue which we learned is actually made out of his body parts. In here, Grief mentions the Hydean Way, which is a hyperspace trade route featured in the Clone Wars, Plo Kloon. Hey, Vane, how about this? I bet he's named after Charles Vane, a real-world pirate. Here we get the resolution of Cara Dune. She's off to Special Forces. Yay, who cares? Anyone else get Terminator 1 vibes when IG-11 came back to life and started chasing them? I did. Hey, and Zelens, just like Babu Frick from The Rise of Skywalker. And then we also get the Kalavala mention, the home world of Duchess Satine Kreese and Bo-Katan Kreese. And I might add, this is the first time we're seeing it in live action. It was only mentioned in Clone Wars. Then we get Bo-Katan drops Sundari, which is a city featured in the Clone Wars that Satine was leading and then ultimately we saw blow up in the book of Boba Fett. Man what a great start to season three. Make sure to tune in for our review of episode one coming up shortly. It'll be on YouTube at Star Wars Time Show. Thanks for watching. If you dig this type of content make sure to give us a like, leave a comment, and make sure to subscribe. There's always time for Star Wars Time.